Rick Godley. This is a test of not the emergency broadcast, but this is a test of uh, tonight. Tonight is the Lincoln Parish Museum continuing series, Wesley Harris. This is the Chautauqua Speakers Series. So what I'm doing, just testing, testing, want to make sure the audio is right, uh, the cameras are right. Uh, Wesley will be here. Going to be talking about this gentleman there, Alan Green, founder and father of Lincoln Parish. It'll be at 7 o'clock. We're at 425 currently, 425 currently. And so if you would indulge me, that's the speakers. Check this shot out. We're going to have that one. There I am way in the back waving my hand here at the beautiful Lincoln Parish Museum and Historical Society. Now tonight, we're also going to have available for purchase these beautiful coins. These are the commemorative sesquicentennial for Lincoln Parish. Uh, these are $20, $20 with proceeds going to um, the sesquicentennial committee. Another camera angle there. Looking down, we're set up. Hopefully you can make it. It will be free this evening. Uh, Wesley Harris, as mentioned, going to be talking about Alan Green, the founder and the father of Lincoln Parish. Now, uh, also, by the way, let me finish my school of thought. Going to have these T-shirts, the celebrating the sesquicentennial T-shirts. T-shirts are $25. And uh, again, the coins are $20 with proceeds uh, going to go to the sesquicentennial uh, committee and as Nancy Bergeron, let me see if I can't get that uh, image up. And I just wanted to make sure that the audio is good. It looks good, but when you stream, uh, you have, here we go. This is the article that Nancy posted and Proceeds are going to go to replace the markers. The markers, three have been identified. Let me make this just a little bit bigger by uh, Wesley. Uh, one is going to be Robert Russ's. Robert Russ's marker is gone. Uh, one, two, the colored Chautauqua, colored Chautauqua marker that was in Grambling is gone. Matter of fact, next week, one week from tonight, it will be... Um, Phyllis Miller, she gave a dynamic talk on the Colored Chautauqua Corporation of 1906. So that's going to be one week from tonight. And uh, it is no coincidence uh, that we have two incredible universities, state universities, in the parish called Lincoln. So if you want to find out how Lincoln got its name, uh, the parish that is, uh, this gentleman right here, Alan Green, uh, Wesley will be talking 7 o'clock tonight. We're going to sharp, sharp, start at 7 o'clock sharp. Let me put this down and check the audio. I want the audio to be clear, clean, crisp, and then I will run around the Facebook stream. It's going to stream it live to the, maybe I can turn this up a little bit more, a little bit more, as going to be streamed live to uh, Facebook pages, and let me go to some of them right now. Here we'll go to the Godly Works and check the audio level. And I am not hearing it. Oh, I don't want that. Let's go to. I want my headphones. Where are my headphones? Oh, no, I don't want to go into that. Do I? Real tech? I don't want that. Oh, sounds kind of good. All right, so the audio sounds good to me. Maybe you can chime in and let me know if the audio is good for you, because uh, Wesley will be standing right there, and as mentioned, so that's going to go to the Lincoln Parish Museum 
Facebook page. Also, I'm going to check. We have a YouTube page. Let me go there and find out the YouTube page just to see. Here we go. By the way, Lawrence, uh, I, please subscribe to the Lincoln Parish um, YouTube page because that's where we put up sounds like Edison. Sounds like Edison. So let me try this here. I don't know if I should. All right. All right. So this does sound kind of uh, good in my ears, too. We got the AC on looking for the uh, YouTube page. And I may, may turn this down just a little bit. There we go. Let's try that. Lincoln Parish Museum. We have our YouTube page. There it is. All right, so we're coming through there. Cool, cool. Let me see. Does the sound okay? All right, so now it's. I want to make sure the stream. We got to have a, a solid connection. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm kind of satisfied with what, uh, what we're hearing here. Um, so I invite you once again. This evening, it's going to be Wesley Harris talking about Alan Green, the founder and father of L Lincoln Parish. It'll be at 7 o'clock. We're going to start sharp tonight, and uh, doors will open at 6. Come and see the museum and uh, help us create a remarkable future because... This is the second renaissance, second renaissance. There's that guy waving way in the back there. And the second renaissance and creating a remarkable future here in Lincoln Parish. We got it good in Lincoln Parish and we wanna keep it that way and even make it better to be the paragon of excellence. So I'm noticing the stream. Okay, uh, thank you all. Again, remember the coins are twenty dollars cash or check only, please cash or check only. And the T-shirts are twenty-five dollars, and proceeds are going to replace at least three markers. You can make a donation as well. Uh, I think they're twelve hundred dollars somewhere in that neighborhood each, each uh, to have them done. The um, Robert Russ, which would go on the Rock Island Greenway because that's where his home and Wooten Richardson's home uh, was, somewhere close to the water tower, the Rock Island Greenway, the second one, the uh, Louisiana colored Chautauqua in Grambling has vanished, and where is the third one? I can't see in the article here, but um, friend us up on Facebook and follow. A couple of places, Lincoln Parish, please, the Lincoln Parish Museum, and also, there's, there is a Lincoln 150, Lincoln 150, for you to uh, follow as well. So I'll wave goodbye for now from way in the back. Looking forward to seeing you here. If, when you come, please sign the book and an email so we can stay in touch with you. And um, keep you apprised of all the other events that are, are going to be happening. And what are they, Rick? Well... We're creating it together. I know for uh, sure Phyllis Miller will be coming back. Phyllis Miller, she will be coming back one week from tonight, one week from tonight to talk about the visionaries of the Louisiana Colored Chautauqua Corporation of 1906. Just how important is Alan Green? Alan Green Normal and Industrial Bible Institute was the first school for the colored, and that was the seeds of Grambling State University, the city of Grambling as well. And so you know what they say, the uh, root reveals the fruit. We got a lot of fruit of education here in Lincoln Parish, and the seeds are the visionaries. Well, one, Alan Green and um, Grambling, Mr. Grambling, who donated the land for Grambling State University, and then the others who picked it up and, and just ran the ball down the field and now we have Grambling State University, Grambling, uh, is it a city? Is it the city of Grambling or is it a town? Anyway, we'll find out. So thank you all so much. Going to stop this test right now.
And uh, we will stream you later when Wesley is ready to go and everybody is here. Did I say it's free? It's free this evening. Uh, by the way, the Lincoln Parish Museum is a nonprofit organization.